Today we're going to be looking at a bug that is currently haunting the GNOME uh, calendar here by the clock, or the clock applet. Uh, I'm experiencing this problem in Linux Mint 10. What the problem is when you click on your clock down here to look at your uh, calendar and appointments and locations, the window pops up a little too high. It has all this space right here, and when you click locations, it goes up even higher. Now, if you have a, depending on the resolution of your screen and the size of your screen, this may go off the screen partially, which is kind of a pain in the butt, to say the least. Um, and this is not necessarily, this isn't just a Linux Mint issue. Uh, supposedly, it happens in Ubuntu as well, but it's less noticeable because by default, your Ubuntu uh, taskbar is at the top here. So when you click it, it doesn't make a difference because it's lining up properly. But if you were to move your toolbar down to the bottom or your clock down to the bottom toolbar in Ubuntu, you would still have this issue right here. And it's not necessarily directly a uh, clock applet issue because supposedly if you don't have Compiz running, it works fine from what I've read. So it's a conflict between the clock, clock applet and uh, Compiz. And hopefully it'll be fixed in a future release, but today we're gonna look at a quick little workaround for it. And we're just gonna have to, have to open up the Compiz settings uh, manager. And we'll do a search here for place, and you'll see place windows. And the second tab says fixed window placement. And the first section here is windows with fixed positions. And what we're going to do, we're going to say new. And inside this position windows, we're going to say name equal clock dash applet. And what that's saying is add these settings only to your clock applet. Uh, otherwise, you may get all your windows opening up in the bottom right corner. Uh, and we don't want that. We want it to only affect this window. Next thing we're going to check is keep in working area and keep in work area. And we're going to move X and Y all the way up. And basically these are coordinates of the top left and right of your window. And obviously these numbers are rather large, which would actually be off the right of your screen and the bottom of your screen. But since we have keep in work area, it will keep it on the screen. We'll click close. And now when I click this, you can see this window opens up right where it's supposed to. So once again, that's just create a new. The option here is uh, name equals clock applet, X and Y all the way up, and keep in work area. Now, another issue you may experience if you're like me and have dual monitors, the um, monitors, uh, if you have your clock on your left screen and you set it like this, the clock will appear in the bottom right of the right screen, which is not where you want it. And you're just going to have to manually adjust the X positioning on this. So if we put this at like 500, you'll see that it's going to be close to the middle of my screen when I open it up. Because X is left and right, Y is up and down. And we need to figure out the positioning of the window. So your screen resolution minus uh, the width of this window. Now, you can either figure that out using something I'm sure you can use, XWin Info, which I went over previously in a tutorial to get positioning of windows. Or you can just eyeball it, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to say 1,000. And it's going to be a little off, but now when I run this, you can see there's a little bit of space on the right side of the screen of the window here. But for the most part, it's in a good spot. So if you're running dual monitors, you may have to position your X position manually. But other than that, uh, that's the workaround for this bug. And once again, hopefully uh, this bug will be fixed in the next release or with an update sometime soon. I thank you for watching, and I hope that this uh, helped you if you were having this issue. Have a great day.